Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th. We know that the timing is fluid, so we could say this is for right around the new moon, right? This does have the solar eclipse energy in it as we are so close. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Right around the 13th or thereabout. Ooh, the Empress reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed. So this is again giving deep thought to a relationship. Uh, very stressed out, extremely worried, exhausted, tired, overwhelmed, feeling guilty, maybe feeling ashamed. Uh, the Empress Reverse is a person that lacks love, lacks self-love perhaps, lacks self-worth. Uh, the Empress in Reverse is somebody that doesn't know their value, perhaps is greedy, selfish, possessive. Um, could be a cheat, could, be, could have a cheat here. This is somebody that... Um, well, is not worthy, okay? This person is not worthy. They don't reciprocate unconditional love. This, you know, so, I mean, it's a sad situation, but with this Nine of Swords next to it, in reverse, it's like there's, there's a lot of uh, despair. And I feel like there's a lot of despair because there's somebody that has made some poor decisions. I mean, this is a, somebody that... Um, is self-absorbed, possessive. I mean, I it's, it could be somebody that sleeps around. I mean, the Empress in reverse. I mean, it could be. This is just somebody who is not very fertile. Um, this could be the loss of a child as well. I mean, it it could be. I'm just being honest. It could be, and that that is that is depression. Okay, so this is this is extremely sad. You know. Um, so this is not being a very good mother, not being a very good mother, not very motherly, um, not a good housekeeper, not very abundant, somebody that, uh, is very self-centered, you know, so we definitely have an individual here that is not in their best energy, okay, um, a mess. You know, the Empress Reverse is somebody that is a mess. Right next to the Nine of Swords Reverse, this lack of self-love, lack of love for others, doesn't know how to love. Somebody doesn't know how to love. We have somebody here that doesn't have good intentions. Period. Very, very selfish. Woo! Hierophant reverse. Now, the Hierophant reverse is lack of commitment and having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. We have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure when you get the hangman reverse. I mean, the, I can't talk. I don't know why I said the hangman reverse. It doesn't even look like the hangman reverse. I, wasn't, I didn't see it. It just came out of my mouth. So this is somebody who will not change. The hangman reverse is somebody that will not change, that is suffering with their ego. They are. Their ego is in the way. Um, struggling to let go. Struggling to let go of their ego to see things differently. But we have the Hierophant reverse, which is... Which is um, uncommitted lack of commitment lack of faith lack of trust doesn't believe doesn't have any faith so we got somebody here that doesn't have any faith doesn't believe in themselves doesn't really want to be in a commitment having a hard time doing the right thing there's a broken relationship here there's there's a marriage problems or relationship problems or commitment problems or something like that there's poor advice as well. There is. Somebody may have received some poor advice. A 
I feel there's some sort of a, uh, embarrassment as well. Justice, there's karma. Look at the majors. We got three majors. Universe is calling for action. So we have some sort of karma here. There's there's justice. There's there's a need to be honest and upfront. There's a need to make a decision. There's a need to bring balance. We have a very unbalanced individual here that is very, I don't know if this person is clingy or unfaithful. There could be somebody here that is unfaithful. Somebody may have mother issues. You know, there could be an absent mother or an absent father or both. Okay, this is an absent mother, this is an absent father. Trust me, it is. Or both. So they could have some, something could go all the way back to their childhood. There's, there's, there's a need for balance. There's a need to act with integrity. There's a need to do the right thing. But I think we have somebody here that cannot do the right thing because they're under a lot of social pressure and they have these needs. They're so needy. We have somebody here that is so needy that they just don't, they don't have faith. They don't believe in a higher power. This is somebody who is really down in the outs. They don't, they don't. They don't see their value, then they don't see their worth, and it could go all the way back to their childhood, just saying. Anyhow, um, justice is a card of karma. Uh, the law. Very stressful. Somebody is very extremely stressed out in a commitment that they are in with an individual that I feel is not very nurturing. It's a, whether it's a man or a woman, this person is not very nurturing. They're not very caring, you know. There's a lack of unconditional love, period. just fell out. Eight of Cups and the Knight of Wands reverse. Eight of Cups is walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation. Uh, somebody's been thinking about it, but they need to stop thinking about it and just do it. This is a sudden departure and this is walking away. So there could definitely be a sudden departure here. Because this is not, there's no reason to stay. There's no, there's no passion. There's no desire. So I feel like somebody is involved with an individual where there's 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 no growth. Okay, there's there's no growth. There's there's there isn't. But they may be married or committed to this person in social and what you know social media is a problem as well. You know, what will everybody say? Well, who gives a shit? Anyhow, Knight of Wands reversed. That is. Uh, a show off. We have a show off here. We have a troublemaker that, or somebody that is doesn't really want responsibility anymore. One night stands may have one night stands. May, I feel like we have somebody here that doesn't really want a commitment. You know, they don't really want to be in a commitment anymore with an individual that doesn't really take care of them. Maybe there's no attraction. Maybe there's no desire. Or it's just. You know, it's uh, definitely emotional, emotionally stressing, okay? It causes a lot of stress. It's, somebody's been thinking about it a lot. They've been thinking and stressing and, you know, trying to decide, trying to decide whether they should walk away or not. And I feel like, you know, it's decision time. It's decision time. There's no tender love and care. Okay. There's relationship issues. We definitely, there is. There's relationship issues. There is. It's almost like somebody's been trying to force. They've been trying to force somebody to, you know, fall in love or... Something like that, you know. Seven of Wands reversed. 
So this is giving up, admitting defeat. Somebody's going to be admitting their defeat and walking away. They are going to be walking away. This is extremely overwhelming. This is stepping down, you know, feeling powerless. It's, it's giving up. It's giving up on a passionless situation. I mean, that Knight of Wands reverse is a lack of passion. It is. I feel like there's been some sort of competitiveness here, overly competitiveness. It's like, I don't, why, why? You know, a balanced commitment is not competitive. It shouldn't have to be. It shouldn't. You know, but I see a lot of competition here. We have somebody here that is overly competitive, wants to fight all the time, you know, wants to argue. Forceful. I do see force. I see loud. You know, loud, being loud. Anyhow, I feel, I feel like, uh, this is, this is like admitting defeat. I feel like there's some criticism here as well. There's been a lot of criticism. Who needs that? You know, I get sometimes I get people, oh, how about some constructive cr criticism? How about fuck you? Just saying. Anyhow, who, who, who needs criticism? Right? Anyhow. It's all about love. It's supposed to be about unconditional love. I mean, that's what the Empress is in the upright. It's about love. Okay? Unconditional love. It's, it's almost like that. Uh, oh, love is patient. Love is kind. Does not boast. We have boastful person here. It is not proud. I don't even know it. I, I know it if I, I mean, I've said it. I've read it. I just can't repeat it. Anyhow, um, that's what it is. This isn't, this isn't true love. Okay? It's not true love. It doesn't, doesn't compete. True love doesn't compete. You know? It doesn't run away when the going gets tough. Right? Anyhow. And cheat. I feel like there's some cheating here. I feel like somebody has, has cheated. Um, anyhow, this is about doing the right thing. It's about acting with integrity. This is a card of karma. So karma, the karma is coming. It's coming. Truth. Truth is coming out. Truth is going to come out. Okay. Be prepared to hear some truth. may have something to do with a one night stand or somebody going back and to somewhere they may have went back and you know slept with somebody <laughs> I don't know if that's the case but it definitely could be um, you could also hear about um, a separation there could be uh, with this hair font reverse this could be um, the end of a marriage the end of a commitment Somebody hasn't been listening to their gut in regards to an individual that probably doesn't... It looks like there's a lack of love here, okay? The Empress in the Upright is all about love and it's lacking. So, but this is accepting the truth, okay? So there's gonna, there's some sort of truth that is coming out. Um, There's going to be a fair and just decision that is made based on the truth. Eight of pen somebody hasn't been putting in much effort, and it's and because they haven't been working hard enough, they haven't been trying to make something work, a commitment work, or a marriage work, or something like that. Somebody's walking away. It's over. It's over. It looks like it's over. There's no reason to uh, stay. There's no reason to stay. You know, there's been a lack of effort in in a in a well a partnership of some sort. There's been some sort of well, 
I think it's overpowering behavior, control, control. It's almost like somebody's been trying to control another person. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Something is somebody's not working, and they're not working on it. They're not trying. They don't want to. They're not interested. They're they're. It feels like they're they're wishing that they never got in this this relationship, whatever it is. And they're making a decision, and I feel like they're making decisions. They're giving up. They're definitely giving up. Somebody is giving up. They're making a decision to stop putting in effort. They have been thinking about it for some time. And they're in some sort of commitment that is not balanced. And they want balance in their life. It's not. And it's like they haven't been listening to their gut. But it's like their gut is poking them. It's very interesting. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Libra. Okay. We have Taurus. Taurus, Libra. Libra. So Taurus, Libra, and Taurus, Libra. So so, so Taurus, Libra. We also have... Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. Um, we have everybody. It doesn't matter. But I see a broken relationship. Okay? And I, see, and I see this as a broken relationship because there's a lack of love. Okay? With the Empress, there's a lack of love. There's a lack of growth. There's a lack of nurturing. Somebody hasn't been putting in effort. They're just not... Uh, <laughs> They're boring, perhaps, or they're needy, or they're clingy, or they're possessive, or they're self-absorbed. There's something about th this person that is that is off. Very, very selfish. Definitely uh, non-caring, okay? The Empress Reverse is somebody that is non-caring, just doesn't care. All right? Um, needy. There could be a termination here. A termination or something like that. A decision is being made to stop putting in effort to a commitment that is causing a lot of stress. It is causing a lot of stress. There's disappointment here with that Eight of Cups. Somebody is very, very disappointed. And they want, they're looking for wish fulfillment. They're looking for something more. And it feels like they've been stalled. They've been stalled. It feels like they've been stalled by an individual that, you know, was very combative, you know, was, uh, criticized them all the time. There's a lot of criticism here. Overly critical with the Seven of Wands reversed. This is admitting defeat and walking away. It's like, you know what? You win. You win. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Whew. Knight of Swords reversed. Now, the Knight of Swords reversed is uh, looking for a fight. Somebody made right next to the Knight of Wands reversed. Oh, my God. So, you know, and I do need to say, oh, my God, because I feel like somebody could get upset. Now that we have these two cards, there, there could definitely be a fight. Okay, there could definitely be a fight. Somebody could get really upset. Things could get out of control very, very, out of control very fast. Okay? Things could get out of control very fast. I feel like there's going to be a sudden departure. Okay? Where somebody, and somebody could speed away. They could sped away, you know, because of a fight, because of a battle. Because we could get in a fight and they, you know, they speed away and maybe they get pulled over. Just saying. Okay? Just saying, okay? Somebody could get pulled over, the law could step in, or the cops get called. I, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, I feel like there is um, somebody that lacks value. They lack, it feels like they lack conscience or something like that. And they some, may even have somebody here that um, they could even have some mental health issues, okay? Um, this person is out of control. They could they could definitely lose control. Leave in a hurry. This is definitely leave in a hurry um, because of a fight. So that could absolutely happen. 
Um, but they may end up with some regrets. They may end up with some regrets for being so hasty. I see hasty behavior here. Um, being very, very hasty, uh, looking for a fight. We may have somebody definitely here also that is looking for a fight. They're disappointed. They're a bit disappointed because of a breakup or they're disappointed because of uh, whoever they were dealing with. Maybe somebody cheated, just saying, or somebody gave up on them or they aren't feeling loved. They aren't feeling nurtured. You know, there's there's something going on here. There is something going on here. And if you think about the justice card, that is the laws of karma that see everything so everything is being seen this is a card of consequences so there will be some consequences we do have an individual that will be suffering some consequences for not putting in effort for not trying you know for giving up okay whoever they have given up on is is probably leaving and they're leaving in a hurry I feel like um, wherever they're going, they're going to a better place because that's what the Eight of Cups is. They're leaving behind an emotionally dis dissatisfying situation. They're heading towards the Nine of Cups, which is happiness and abundance. But they have to find that courage and that strength and that confidence and that willpower to uh, follow through with, with their plans. I feel like this has been thought out. Somebody has been planning it. They've been thinking about it, but they haven't been taking action yet. But I feel like they are about to take action. But they've been thinking about it as of, you know, up until this outburst happens. I do believe there's going to be an outburst. I think there's going to be a fight or an argument that pushes somebody away. It really, it's that pivotal moment where it gives that push. You know, it's like, no, you're not coming back in or something like that. And what could happen is is somebody could receive some news or some information or they see something that gives them some sort of truth, you know, because the truth comes out. This is the truth, okay? The truth comes out, okay? And when this truth comes out, it gives that push, you know, it gives that push that says, you know what? It's over. It's over. This commitment is over. I mean, Hierophant Reverse is the end of a commitment. Okay. Um, we have somebody here that does the opposite of what they say. Anyhow. I feel like there's danger. I mean, with these two cards, this could be a dangerous situation. With the Knight of Wands reversed and the Knight of Swords reversed, this is out of control, you know? Somebody could be doing things or saying things that are not true as well. We have an untrustworthy individual here, definitely. This person... Uh, may have a bad reputation and it, I feel like we have a show off if I didn't say it already huh. mm. magician reverse there could be some violence I'm just I, I'm gonna be honest with you there definitely could be some violence I feel like this we have a we have a Maybe it's a pathological liar here or somebody that is very tricky, very sneaky, that has some, you know, I, there definitely could be some mental personality disorder or mental health issues. Um, this person uh, may feel like they, or they may think that they are above the law, but they're not above the law. I mean, when you get the magician reversed, this is, this is somebody that is a trickster that may have abused their power and now they're feeling powerless you know they're feeling powerless so they may do something that is could be criminal behavior it feels like there there definitely could be somebody is on a lot of under a lot of uh social pressure definitely with the hair font reverse to perform and they can't perform they can't perform because they don't have the resources to perform so there there could be a theft here there could be a theft or 
criminal behavior okay so I think that and they may they may want to be they want they may want they may be dealing with somebody that is very selfish there's definitely poor advice you know somebody may be telling them to do something at, that is against the law and they shouldn't do it don't do it if you if you're being told to do something from an individual that you know they only care about themselves this is somebody that is self-absorbed they don't care if you get in trouble well let them do it anyhow um We have an unplanned departure here, okay? It's definitely unplanned because this is unplanned and this is a departure, this is a departure, this is a departure. Or arrival, could be both, okay? Um, I feel like there's going to be some, I feel like there's, unfortunately, there's going to be some bad news with that magician reversed and the, and the empress reversed. I feel like there's some bad news coming, okay? Um, somebody may try to do something and it doesn't work out. It feels like they try to do something that is against the law. And maybe it's just the karmic law. And it, karma can go all the way back to, from years ago. Okay? And it doesn't work out. And I feel like, uh... Somebody's going to be experiencing a setback because of karma, okay? Because of the law, whether it's the karma or that's the, you know, the law. Um, somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. I'm just saying. Um... Because this is no... And this is goodbye. Okay? The Eight of Cups is goodbye. And the Magician reversed is no. No goodbye. So somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. I mean, I'm just, just telling you what I see. So, um... They could be pushed away. You know, there's no closure, you know. And it's because of lies. It's because of manipulation. It's because of tricks. It's because of hidden agendas. It's because of lack of nurturing, lack of growth, no unconditional love, overly criticized, you know. Goodbye. Good luck.